another business opening its doors on Grand Bahama. Marketing director of the Caribbean Barrel Sports Bar say, says they're bringing a whole new experience to the island while providing new job opportunities. Romico Knoll stopped by the establishment before its grand opening tonight to get a feel of what the owners say is all things Caribbean. The Ocean View. The wide variety of beverages, the authentic cuisine from countries around the world, and the island-like atmosphere is what owners say make the Caribbean Barrel Sports Bar different from any other establishment. Marketing Director Dave Mackey says much work has gone into the local bar and restaurant, formerly known as Monkey Joe's. This basically is a location that gives you a taste of the Caribbean, and so the concept really is as, as the owner came in and he saw and, you know, the feel of the, the inside and the outside, he wanted to make you feel like you're outside while you're inside. And so you've got this beautiful thatch going across here. And although we're recording this, this interview now um, during the daytime, in the nighttime is when this really comes a lot. That's where you really, really see all of the colors and the lighting. And so when you come into here, you really feel like you're in another place. Mackey notes that the owner has the confidence in the economy to open the sports bar, which employs some 20 persons. It's very exciting. It's been a long journey. It's been a lot of work. And as you can see, as you've shown the, the audience around here, a lot of investment has gone into it. And, you know, at a time when people are saying, well, what are you doing? Uh, but what it is really is it's, it's providing an avenue for people to have something to do. And because of the size of the location, Social distancing is, is, is easy, especially outside. Um, you know, so all of, those, all of those points are considered. The social distancing, the masks, and, and, and all of that are, are taken into, into consideration. The theme for the Caribbean Barrel Sports Bar is all of we are one, and they have incorporated that concept into their menu. Monday nights, it's uh, Mexican night. Um, so the kitchen will have, will feature Mexican cuisine, authentic Mexican cuisine, as well as the cocktails will be Mexican, so you can get your tequila and your margaritas. On Wednesday will be seafood nights, so all the seafood that you like to eat will be available then. On Friday nights is Bahamian nights. On Saturdays is going to be Latino nights. Um, so the uh, Latin cuisine and Latin cocktails. And if that doesn't excite you, Mackey says the sports bar will also have live entertainment from the Uppercut Band. And most people are familiar with my band, Uppercut 242. You know, we are a multi-genre band. You know, we'll give you everything from Desposito to Bob Marley uh, to Presha um, to a whole wide variety of, of music that fits this type of environment for you know for the international type of community that we have in the Bahamas and so we're very excited to do this. The establishment is open seven days a week from 11 a.m. until curfew. Well, Rumiko is standing by live at the business establishment now to tell us how opening night is going. Well, Megan, things are going great and the vibes are right here at the grand opening of the Caribbean Barrel Sports Bar. And I'm standing by with the marketing director. As you would have heard earlier, he mentioned that a lot of work has gone into getting this place up and running. And now we are here at the grand opening. Tell us, talk a little about some of the work that you have put into this place Tell to get it where it is place. today. And as we see behind us, customers are out. Well, the owner and the team were very uh, enthusiastic about getting things going. Uh, you know, they had the confidence that things were going to work on Grand Bahama. You know, in the midst of all of the stuff that we're going on, going through, the owner was confident. And tonight, we're so excited. I mean, if you look around, you see social distancing is happening, but the place is just rocking. Inside, we got a beautiful, colorful environment with different tunes playing, so it has another vibe in there. And then outside is rocking. You know, right now we got DJ Future, who's who's on the wheels of steel, rocking it out. And then we're going to be there. See, I'm holding my guitar. So we're going to be doing it. And, and right next to me is uh, Donna Sharp. And, and, you know, we wouldn't be able to do this without people like Donna who have um, who have helped us to, to be able to get the equipment that we needed. Because in, in Dorian, the equipment was wiped out. 
and people like Donna and Ken Williams and, and Margaret Groves and a number of others have assisted us with this. And Donna's right next to me. And I I, I, of course, Donna, we heard that you are visiting us from Canada. Yes. Welcome to Grand Bahama. Thank you. Thank How you. are you loving it so far? Oh my gosh, we are so happy to be back here. Um, of course, with the COVID going on, it's been a few hoop jumps to get here. But um, we're, we're ecstatic to see that Upper Cup is playing live again, right? And, and yeah. I can see the excitement on your face. And of course, you're enjoying the island vibe. You look around, you see there's an island atmosphere. How, do, how is that for you? That view? That is amazing view, right? That is a view that I look forward to all year to get back to, right? So. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, Grand Bahama. We are coming to you live from the grand opening of the Caribbean Barrel Sports Bar. And if you are not here, you need to be here. There's a few more hours before curfew, so come on out. We're here. DJ Future from Power 105 is on the ones and twos, and we're going to enjoy ourselves tonight. Back to you in studio.